It's brother John F. Talking with Aaron. How are you doing, Aaron? Frazzled? Yeah. Frazzled. Um, yeah, your channel or your your Google got taken down or hacked, so trying to recover that right now. Yeah, and I appreciate the help you ha have given in trying to sort it out. We spent some hours here on Skype trying to um, figure out what actually happened. We're still not 100% sure. We got some clues, but um, yeah, for what? six years of work almost 900 videos that I don't have access to and it's it's gone in a split second and some of it might have been me making a mistake but in the end the what what's happened is a brutal takedown and it's it's been pretty vicious as to what's going on uh, so somebody else has taken control of the channel uh, they have been making uh, changes on the channel and um, uh, yeah, so I've I had to create a new one, and uh, we can, I guess, leave links and stuff in, in the descriptions uh, for folks, but um, yeah, I'm starting from scratch, and the, the one good thing about it is, you know, so I did, two, I did two videos today on my new channel. The first one is based on some of the actions that I have seen, it really appears that somebody does not want me communicating with you however the powerful thing that that we've got here the thing that's allowing me to overcome it maybe a hell of a lot quicker than somebody knew is the fact that we have such a strong community sorry that's okay trying to pull up your channel here <laughs> yeah so go ahead so here's the wonderful thing you know, I care about everybody, and on my channel, I have done something that a lot of channels don't do, and I have made it very clear that, um, you know, we are to set aside partisanship. The, the biggest problem we've got in our country, John, is that we are so fractured. We're fractured on every label, every idea, every thought we're not together as a country and that's why yeah. what's going on is, is is happening so easily and I think that terrifies somebody so much that yeah. that um, they have um, they've gone in and taken some steps to try and make it difficult for me to, to communicate with the people that you know they they love me and tea dearly and I mean th there's been um, an incredible, incredible community that we created in trying to help people. Because the idea is this, we're not all going to agree on, with each other. We have our differences. You and I have some differences ourselves in the way we see things. And what we need to do is, is, is not bicker with each other and figure out how to come together on a lot of things because we're really, really being attacked by some nasty evil out there. So there is some yeah. horrific evil. I mean, the way... I mean, the, the way I would describe your channel, which, you know, I just, I mean, just go back six months, you know, I know that seems like an eternity at the pace that things are moving right now, but just go back to where you were six months. And, you know, six months ago, you were like, oh, you know, Aaron's over there, you know, hiding out in the woods or whatever, these people, you know thinking that, you know, people are going to have to live off the land. I mean, nobody's, come on, that's never going to happen. Look where we are, okay? Now we've got a huge number of people thinking, uh, what is this? Is this the mark of the beast? Is this still, is this forced vaccination? Is this like FEMA region, uh, you know, FEMA, 10 FEMA regions in, in the country? Is this, uh, you know, what the heck is going on and how do I escape this? I'm going to go hide out the head for the hill. That's a phrase I keep, it's like whenever I'm in a store or walking around, I keep, maybe it's just my schizophrenia or walking by a TV set, all I hear is head for the hills, head for the hills. It's on here. It's, so, it's like, uh, so, you know, basically you've been on this message and actually living the life. And this is uh, very, very valuable information because a lot of people can talk about it and say, Oh, you know, yeah, if it ever happens, if it comes to that, that's what I'm going to do. But are you going to know how to do it? 
You know, can you actually do it? Or are you just talking? And, and that's, so that's John. That's why I've done my channel the way I've done. I want you know, if you're a lead, you're going to lead by by example, and that's the way I work. And for me, when I started my channel, the original thing was to start. You know, as an engineer, I had to re-engineer my world because of what happened in the 08, 09, and, and 2010. I lost everything, and I had to wake up at that point in time. And but I, I went even further, and I, you know, I started, I really started learning about economics. I didn't have a thinking clue. And when you lose multiple homes and a 815 average credit score, and you can go into a bank and do whatever you want to with money, and it, you go from that to you can't get anything. And right. you can't find a job, so I had to re-engineer my world, and that's what I started trying to help people with. Is you know these systems that we live on, the power grid, the 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 communication grids. That's why I've got the ham radios here. Uh, the 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 foods, the just in time food delivery system that we're now seeing is in mm -hmm. real dire straits. I wanted to show people, John, so much. Now look. It's not that hard to plant a garden. It's not that hard to build these systems. So I did it because I knew this is where I needed to be, and I wanted to give a clear path to everybody to get there. Yeah, so, I mean, I think we've gone overnight from maybe, um, you know, uh, maybe one one-hundredth of one percent of the population thinking about these things to probably about ten percent of the population thinking about these things. So... It's not surprising that um, you know they'd want to squelch this information. So um, I know you have a Litecoin address on your on your channel, but um, uh, I'll go ahead and put that link below. I think you have a, a PayPal and Patreon or something like that. All of that, all of that so, information is in it is in the a description of every one of my videos. So any video, even on the old channel, the old Aaron T. Scott channel. Um, it, all of those videos have all that same information. None of that's been changed or hacked yet. yet. Uh, thank goodness I've gone through and changed passwords and I've, I've tried to re-secure everything. So even on the new channel, all that data is in the videos. So anybody who comes over, just check out any of the videos and you're going to see that information there that you can use yeah. to, ass to assist. So I would, I would encourage everyone to... Uh, come over to Aaron's new channel. It's, it's the real Aaron Scott, right? Is that yep. it? Is? Now, yeah, I just the real Aaron T. Aaron T. Because here's my other oh, partner. You remember her? <laughs> <laughs> she's still she's still trying to dig up, um, you know, all the previous subscribers. Anybody who commented, we're trying to let everybody yeah. know and make it a, a real community connection. Because I love my people. I love the people in 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 my uh, subscriber base because. We all care about each other, and and they know that. And and when you get cut off like this, um, there is no communication. So I've got a request of people after you're done. So go ahead. Yeah. So um, you know, you may get may get the channel back or not, but I just encourage everybody to go in. And I, I know that you have been prepared for various situations where there is no money and you don't have any revenue. I think you had just a tiny amount. Of AdSense revenue, which you may get or may not get, but uh, but so I would encourage everybody to send what they can to help you transition through this, get the new channel up and running, and uh, you know move on from there. I know you're probably looking at we've we've all looked at the you know the alternative platforms, whether it's uh, Bit2, BitChute, Library Credits. None of them have really you know put that put out that much of promise yet, but. Uh, you know, we all we all know that at some point this might go away. But in the meantime, if any of you can, make sure you go over and subscribe to the new channel, Please. click on the bell, uh, watch the videos, like the videos, and donate anything you can. It'll be really appreciated. Yes, yes. And then, um, you know, I've I've had some, you know my community of people in in YouTube is is one of the best. I think. Uh, you know, because I I got some people who really really love deeply and care, and and um, I mean, because I get I get emails, John, I get emails that are like three pages long. I've never seen this person comment. I didn't even know they were subscribed to my channel, and I get this big <laughs> long story. Aaron, I started watching your channel 
you know, two years ago, and if it wasn't for you, I really wouldn't have made the connection, but you gave us real good um, uh, uh, things to actually do. You just didn't talk about things. You showed us what you were doing, and you actually did them by your, you know, you were doing them by yourself, those kinds yep. of things. And I get it, this massive letter, and I'm like, <laughs> you know, so I've got a, um, in my description boxes, there's my email address, which is my Patreon, so you know, if there's any gifts, any gifts that come that way, that's great. We we thoroughly yeah, appreciate it. It's your PayPal. Too. Yeah, and my PayPal, and so I got my Patreon there, and my email is there. And when when I started hearing the potential for our platform to get our platforms of YouTube, some of the social medias to get taken down when the Q data was saying that, I I started um, you know because I'm not comfortable with other platforms yet and I kinda wanna see how everything washes out I wanted direct contact so I just said to everybody I said look if if things go down we'll just do this the old-fashioned way and we'll do it with email so all I need is an email address and because of that I have a pretty good list of emails oh, yeah. a, couple, a couple hundred people that I have as email in an email list that's what helped me to, to really get back out there and 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 to to get a couple hundred subscribers to follow me almost immediately so yeah it's, it's going yeah so we don't know which direction it's going to take we don't know if you're going to get your old channel back or if you're just going to move forward with this new channel but uh, uh, I've, I've made a decision on that John I haven't I haven't told you about that but let me let me answer that real quick I doubt that I'm going to be able to get that channel back. If it happens, it happens good. But what I do want, because I've done this, is I put up a video today um, asking everybody to go help take the channel down intentionally. So the original Aaron T. Scott, they, the, whoever hacked it, took my pi picture off, and now it's just a blue E. So they took the picture off. So you know. The new one, you'll see it when you go to it, is the real Aaron T. Scott. So the old one, what I'm asking is that we all uh, mass attack it and we we flag this thing and we take it down. I just assume it come down. I'm okay with it. I've got all my yeah, data I mean, back could, up. I, mean, I think you could actually get legitimate flags against it. Aren't uh, any videos that are running that are like stolen? Isn't that kind of a violation? I mean, you can flag of it, everything. All of it would be considered stolen if the whole channel's stolen. So yes, and all you got to do to understand how to do the flagging part of it is just go watch that video uh, that I posted this morning. It's right there on my channel. Go watch it. I, t I show you step by step how to go into the channel, find the flag, how to walk through the reporting of it so that you can do a report. And I'm, I'm asking people to do multiple reports. Use use some of the more. Uh, uh, Horrific, creative. yeah, yeah, creative. Um, you know, child, this and harassing that. I mean, make it look bad. I mean, make yeah. make YouTube take the damn thing down. So, do you have copies of all your videos, yep. and you're going to re-upload them? Yep. So, so I yeah, don't know. Would... All right, so I don't know how much I'm going to re uh, mm -hmm. of them. Some maybe. Because here's the thing, and I, I don't know if you realize this, John, or not, but because all of that is copyrighted on the other channel, until that channel is taken down, I can't upload it and 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 monetize it because it will there will be a copyright violation mm -hmm. against mm -hmm. myself. So I yeah, can't. So that, do, huh? That channel's got to come down. It's got first. it's it's got to come down, or it's got to get turned back over to me. One of the so other. once that happens. Then uh, I, I mean I don't know what your plans are. My suggestion would be to try to go through and just do a best of, and start putting them back up in the order of, especially best of in terms of where we are right now with this horrific nightmare situation we're looking at with this. I don't know. What do you want to describe it? A totalitarian world communist takeover. <laughs> what we're under right now yet? Um. I don't know if there's enough words in the dictionary to describe <laughs> the sh shit storm. Because, folks, you know, uh, those of you who have been paying attention know this isn't getting better. We got a lot more worse stuff to happen. And we got another shoe to fall, another two or three shoes to fall, especially in the economic world. We've just started, started to see a taste of the, um, 
the economic fallout being reported and as this month continues to go there's other issues that are going to happen so we've got we've got real serious problems and I don't see I haven't seen anybody present any information to me yet that would lead me to believe that we are not going to go into some serious civil unrest in every major metropolitan area simply because of one thing and that's food and that's why I've, my, my mantra on my channel is plant a garden I don't care if you're in an yeah. apartment plant a garden get some pots put some dirt in it plant, grow some food yeah that is I think uh I think they started marching on the Michigan State House today. I think they had a big protest. Yep, yep. And, so. um, oh, our, our friend over there who understands freedom, uh, Brian, on High Impact Vlogs, did a video yeah. on that. And he's like, guys, you know, you're playing right into their thing. You know, why, why are you asking permission? You just do it. You, you take yeah. your freedom. You know, people who are free don't go begging from their masters to have their freedom back. Yeah, it's yeah really at least you would expect you know some of them to do the confrontation. Like I think the, uh, you know the main protest is you know shutting your businesses down. Well, what are they going to do if everybody just goes and opens them back up? Nothing. Turn the power off. You know what are they going to do? And and uh, I think he even made the point that what are they going to do if a whole lot of good patriots, true constitution, constitution understanding standing under the knowledge of the Constitution true true patriots were to go out there and just stand by those businesses with some um, some uh, boomsticks <laughs> oh yeah well I'm starting to wonder if it's not gonna go there and that is that that may be exactly what they want actually well yeah I mean it might it, it would it would well at least for the the Dems it would give them a reason to to scream Harry Carey ah! You know, they'd be like, "Oh, see, there's guns, oh, there's guns, no. guns, guns," and they would they would foment some fear that way. But now, now we've got guys like you know Richie from Boston. Uh, you know, he's probably one of the main ones. Which, by the way, his channel numbers are absolutely astronomical. I mean, his videos are starting to get half a million views sometimes. But uh, you know, he was the first one posting. Oh, we got troops who mess up. Well, where are they? I haven't seen hide nor hair of, because of what I was going to ask you is I do not expect to see U.S. National Guard or U.S. troops firing on American citizens trying to open businesses, but I wouldn't be surprised if foreign troops uh, started firing on American citizens trying to open their businesses. So my question is, where are these guys? Because I'm not seeing a peep of them anywhere. I've seen, you know, videos of armored car, armored carriers, all kinds of stuff moving around, but I've never seen any soldiers anywhere. Have you seen any? There are a few clips running around some of the channels having to do with some equipment moving. And I've t I discussed this with some of my, um, in some of my videos, you know, please let me know if you see anything. There have been, there has been a little bit of military equipment movement, but nothing significant, nothing really huge. And you know, Trump called up those. Um, Trump called up those uh, um, uh, million, million reservists, and yeah. um, I haven't even heard about people saying, "Oh, I know somebody that called up, got called up." You know, that was said. I don't yeah. know what the you know the, the integrity. You hear me say it all the time. What are the words? What are the actions? What's really going on? I don't know. Mm. Another thing I want to know is, where are all these gun, uh, Second Amendment loving militia type patriots? Where are these guys? <laughs> I haven't seen any of them. Are they hiding out? Yeah, and they've gone quiet, and they're gone quiet for a reason. Um, my, my guess is you got two, two sides of them, in my, from what I've observed in just my gut feeling. And I, I can't say I know for sure because. I don't talk to these groups like I used to do up in Montana. I would go into huge prepper groups and do discussions mm -hmm. about sustainability and 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 uh, and systems and all of that for solar and stuff. I did a lot of that up there, but I haven't done it down here, so I don't quite have a feeling of it other than my gut. And my gut says there's two, probably two, two groups. One group that probably has bought into the Q stuff 
and as I've said on my channel, once the Q stuff came out, uh, a lot of the Patriots shut up and sit down and, and, and did nothing. I mean, we were we were really building towards something with the uh, Bundy Ranch stuff. You know, mm -hmm. the, the, they were coming out with the guns on horseback. There was groups showing up, and I think that scared the shit out of some of the agencies because they're going, oh, man, this could get real good. That's why they backed off, and they waited, and they took took Bundy out um, uh was a few weeks, few months later, they, they, they caught him out there in Oregon or wherever it was they did, and they just run him off the street and shot him. So oh, they shot him? I didn't, I, I oh, didn't yeah, they killed him. They shot him. They shot, wow. him. They, shot the, they shot the dad, the guy who was leading it. Well, hmm. he was trying to protect what was rightfully yeah, yeah, I mean, so when that happened, I suspect that's where, where, where why this Q thing came in. If it's, if it's, Saya, and that's you and I think I'm that is it a damn high chance that it's a Saya, 98, 99 percent chance. If it's not, we have to pray that maybe there is somebody with some a little bit more level head, and and uh, I don't know. We'll have to see how that unfolds. The other aspect of it, so there's two groups. So the one shut up and sit down. The others are going. I'm just going to sit here, and this is what I've been telling my, my folks, is I don't know how this is going to go down, but because we can't be united and come together, because if you, you know, uh, 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 the Davidian Ranch and the, um, uh, uh, was it, um, Waco, and then, and then um, the, the group up in Montana back in the early mm -hmm. 90s, when they yeah, shut yeah. them, when they shut them down, that was a big wake-up call to a lot of people as to how open they are. So I suspect yeah. there are a lot of them that are just sitting back, locked in, loaded, just going, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, my big wake-up call was uh, was Waco, which I think was 1993. Yeah. Uh, um, About that time. But I, I remember when that happened. I'm like, hold on. <laughs> And then right on the heels of that was the Oklahoma City bombing, and I'm like, and wait the, a minute. They're trying to tell me this is a fertilizer bomb here? No, 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 no. And then, so, and then there was Ruby Ridge, and Ruby Ridge yeah. was Montana. in Montana. And uh, I can remember in the mid-'90s, uh, there were all of the social media when... when when you, you first had that MySpace and AOL and all of that, and there was still a mm -hmm. lot of discussion about these topics. There was a whole lot of propaganda memes going around about the uh, what was it the the wackos in Waco and the militants in Montana. That was that was the um, that was the conspiracy conspiracy theory mentality that they, that they put on that whole situation, and that that resonated with a lot of people. Interesting. So well, anyway, so um, you know, let's wrap it up. Basically. Yep. You need to get back control of your channel or get that channel taken down. And I just assume, I just assume, you know, I'd love to have it back because it's huge. I mean, that's six years of my life, man. You know that. You've, you've, you've gotten that and lost oh, yeah. it too. Um, but I just assume um, shut it down. Yeah. And, okay. and there, that gives me a clean slate, and I can build back if, if a bunch of your subs that also have been sub. I mean, because we got crossovers, we got a lot of crossovers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, if they can come over, the biggest thing is to get me back over a thousand subs. I'm mm -hmm. a little over 200 now, but get me back over a thousand subs. And if we can get the other channel taken down by whatever means, and I give anybody who's watching this carte blanche to just hit it. Hit yeah, just my be old careful. Channel. Make sure it's the old channel, not the new one. Yeah, the old channel. There's just the Aaron T. Scott, not the real Aaron T. Scott. <laughs> and make sure it's the right one because you got to be careful. And when I go through there, I almost messed up because because the other channel was so big and has been around and is has um, a lot of good uh, foundation with Google and YouTube and all the... I mean, I, my videos have been posted on tens if not hundreds of websites all around yeah. the world because of the things that we discussed you know 
I've got a better foundation. So when I first went in there to report it as being an imposter, and like I said, pay very close attention to what you click and how you click it because you don't want to hit my new channel. Um, essentially, um, uh, the first time I did it, AdSense or Google wanted to flip it and it wanted to make my new channel the imposter channel yeah, it, mm. because it had it, it doesn't have the internet credibility of the spread and the foundation so we got to be very careful about that yeah okay so I encourage everybody first thing off click on the link and go and subscribe to Aaron's new channel and uh, click the bell notifications all that stuff watch some videos like some videos Go to the old channel and find a video and issue a complaint against it and the old channel is help her get the old channel taken down. And uh, then anybody that uh, you know feels generous, um, click on PayPal, click on Patreon, uh, send cryptocurrency, whatever you can do. And uh, hopefully we're going to build this up and the new is going to be better than the old. I know it's a lot of work. Well, yeah, I, yeah it is, but you know, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not that, um, I'm not that. Put, I mean, it's a loss. It feels, it hurts. It's a punch in the gut. But I'm not that put off because you know um, I've grown in the last six years. There's, there's, there's videos that I did six years ago that were, that are still, we're getting, you know. So what, my biggest video was the one on the Balfour radio. Mm -hmm. um, I've learned so much about presentations and, and video creation and whatnot I can do a lot better on some of these so in in the um, in the long run it's probably going to be better for me to do a better video than mm -hmm. just re-upload stuff that you know happens to be there yeah so absolutely all right guys well we're praying for you Aaron T thank you um, yeah Thanks. we'll be talking again uh, trying to get to the bottom what kind of hell storm is going on around us and uh, what we need to do to get prepared, what time there is left to get prepared. Yep, um, even our friend over there at um, the Prepared Mind, he got hit pretty hard and he is trying to make everybody aware that that things are about ready to get really, really bad. So the biggest thing I got to say is plant a garden figure it out plant a garden why do you think they wanted to make seeds illegal to buy mm -hmm. it, you know think about it all right thanks all right guys we'll talk to you next time thank you bye bye see you bye